take it, set it aside, and move forward. Wentz now on first down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice gain. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Second down now after the pass completion. On play action, it's Wentz. Oh, nearly picked. Almost intercepted, but he couldn't hang on, and it's third down. Now, keep in mind, they did have three interceptions last week. Couldn't quite come up with a first-quarter pick that time. But they had to like what they saw in terms of reacting when the ball is thrown. We had an expression when I played. It was called break on it. Every time the quarterback puts the ball in the air, break on the football. Go make the play and accumulate those interceptions. Former defensive back, you remember those three interception games. It can be contagious, give you a little momentum. They really can. And it doesn't matter whether it's one person or if you spread them across your entire defense, everybody wants a piece of that pie. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This is taken at the 23. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Around the NFL, an update from a game going on down in Tampa. And the Bucs are out to an early lead. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Off the corner. Where'd he come from? Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game. No gain. And he'll give it here to his running back. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. From deep in their own territory. They look to throw. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. And this defense continues to dominate. How about two safeties in one game here? You don't even put that on your goal sheet. This is something that results when you're playing really well on defense and the offense has nowhere to go with the football. Dominating performance. Back now with Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Mahomes to throw on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Timmy Jernigan with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. 
you never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grab. And he's going to go down again. Timmy Jernigan in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Third and long defense with no fear. They brought the pressure. Zero fear at all. That means they feel really good about the guys we're going to cover. But the biggest one is they think their pressure will get there before he has a chance to find an open receiver. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The Chiefs defense getting ready to roll. They got the safety last time. Those are ones that don't happen every week. So, Charles, I would imagine that can be a big rallying point for a unit. Oh, no doubt about it, because right now they've kind of come together. You can see it. They're an attacking, marauding band of brothers that are making big plays out there. Marauding? You like that is one, that, huh? Is that a word? Seriously? I had the SAT play. Wow. That's it.
Well, I won't give my score. All right, here they go. They're going to try to maraud again. They'll run again with Blunt. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Only a yard on the pickup. And now they've got a third down and eight. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort from minimal gain. Minimal yardage. And now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Now Wentz on third down. And he connects with Ertz. <laughs> A big hit. Knocked down sideways at the 49. So the offense has it first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. Wentz now giving to Blunt on the draw. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Working from the gun, Wentz. And this is going to be incomplete. He kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And the Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it. And now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Ware takes the give from Mahomes. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Gray. Get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And out now come the Eagles. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal. Couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, 
confident in their defense that they can hold them. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Another big play by Alshon Jeffrey. I think his best days are ahead of him. I think he's ideally suited to help this young quarterback Carson Wentz develop. He had 13 career 100-yard games coming into the season, and you know in the city of brotherly love, they're hoping for more. Yeah, just think about Alshon Jeffrey, the catch radius, and the ability to make plays downfield against smaller defensive backs. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that. Right? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Allen Bailey in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been under constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Elsewhere, a score update from New Orleans. The Patriots, they're out to an early lead. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Mahomes now on first down. Wilson snags it, left side. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Working from the gun, Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 17 yards to pick up there. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Mahomes now on first down. Catch made right side by Wilson. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Albert Wilson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Going on first is Wentz. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Reset, 
The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Now it's Sproles. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. The Eagles on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Shotgun now for Wentz. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. A final shot before half for Wentz. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Now you folks don't know what you're missing. Missing Larry Ridley. Ready to get back, though, to this Week 2 matchup. Let's get to it. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense mm -hmm. they didn't pick up their end of the bargain <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence from the gun it's wins jeffrey with a catch left side and down he'll go at the 25 five yards on the pickup and it'll be second and ten So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. They'll run it with Sproles. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. The Eagles on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. Throwing his wins. And Jeffrey's got it. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there I think will pay off for them. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Again, they'll run it again at Sproles. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third-and-two situation. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Sproles. Oh, he's got a little daylight. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. 
At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. They go play action here on first down. He's going to go up top for the... This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Alshon Jeffrey, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles get a score closer. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know this. Caleb Sturgis now for the point after. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This will be fielded at the 8th. Yet a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And that's the second sack of the game. But this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Halfback sent in motion. On second down, here's Mahomes. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Michael Kendricks in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line, Brandon Graham in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. Trolls the return. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Eagles take possession. All right, time for us now to discuss Alshon Jeffrey. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, you're a former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Back to the air on second down. Wins. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him three on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run the ballet school. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. This Chiefs team, 33 takeaways last year, most in the NFL, and they get an early one here. It doesn't happen by accident. They emphasize it. They coach it. They demand it, and they get it. Now they try the right side here. And a loose football, and the Eagles have recovered. Often on fumbles. 
coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only gonna tip it, I'm gonna doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. They'll start out on the ground with Sproles. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And once again, they go with Sproles. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So right now what I'm seeing... I'm seeing an offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks, too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. Here's Sproles. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite an excellent display of footwork. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now a first carry for Dial Pumphrey. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be third down. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and eight. Play action to Sproles. Wins. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Avoids him at the 40. We're back now in KC. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. And that's the relief that you still have the lead. But coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices uh, we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Nigel Bradham from that outside linebacker spot. He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. Well, they've done a good job on these receivers, pretty much held them in check. They're a little too close for comfort. And you're always looking for a play to get you going, right? You're looking for someone to make one. But maybe this penalty, this pass interference call, that can help shake them loose. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. 
But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. There we go now. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. Hurry up, here we go. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? They'll run now with Ware. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Caught here by Conley. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Elsewhere in the NFL, they're in the fourth down in New Orleans. The Patriots, they've opened a two-touchdown advantage in that one. A win would be their first of the young season. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. Wentz to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive. And it was third and short. Okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going to run. It's Sproles. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It'll be a gain of six. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. I tell you, I'm fourth and one when you're way back on your side of the field. I thought this might just be an attempt to draw them off and get the first down that way. But they were going for it the whole time, and they wind up getting it. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. 
Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. It's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. The defense helps the offense out there. Now five yards to go on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Sproles lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had to they had having to, to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, match. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? And they'll stop him right on the midfield strike. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. And to give this time to the tailback. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And he'll keep this one away from Sproles as this is angled toward the sideline. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Now Sean Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Second down to the offense, needing five yards. Throwing now is Wentz. He's got that one complete to Eddie Royal. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. Wentz now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now Wentz signaling frantically. Let's get to the line. Wentz to throw on second down. And they can't get the long connection as it falls incomplete. Eddie Royal is intended target. And it's third down. Trying to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Here's Wentz to throw. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Let it well and it's picked. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here.
Down to a knee. Here goes Smith, and that should all but do it. And this looks to probably be the final play. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Kansas City, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the L.A. Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one, and they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants.